Welcome to Avondale Live. My name is Mia and I'm one of the social co-leaders for this year, which means that I'll be running, um, help running all of the social activities that will run here on campus. So today I'm coming to you from College Hall, which is like a hangout. Um, it's a games and social area. You can see the pool table, there's snack shack, there's a bunch of areas here, which is really cool. And hey guys, I'm Brady and I am the co-sport and rec leader this year. So I'm going to be helping to organize all the sports uh, and all the socials with me are here. Um, and I'm coming to you from the auto where majority of the sports are played. Um, so I know uh, most of you that are watching have had a pretty crazy year. You've just gotten your HSC results and you're about to make some pretty big decisions. Um, so this live will hopefully ease the mind a little bit and just show you a little bit about Avondale and what we have to offer up here. So now you know a little bit about us, um, let us know where you guys are joining us from and feel free to drop some um, comments um, throughout the live whenever and we'll try and get back to you. So first of all, tag your friends to let them know we're doing this live. And secondly, we encourage you to answer and get involved in all the quizzes and all the things planned um, today for some giveaways and freebies that will be um, given to you guys throughout the show. Yeah, so we're going to start off with just the live opening video. So have a look at this. I can see some people have joined, um, some of my friends. Hello, Mason from Bonnells Bay. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, but today we're going to share with you what it's like to be a student here at Avondale. Um, we're going to answer some questions we get all the time about, you know, student life and socials and just explore the campus a little bit more. So anytime you'd like, you can write in the comments, apply course info or campus tour, and um, there'll be some extra information there for you. Yeah, look, I can't encourage you guys enough to use those three actions. They're gonna help um, you guys with a lot of questions you might have. And yeah, it's just a really easy way to get to know a little bit more about Avondale. Um, look, to be a part of Avondale, you need to know the campus. Um, so we're gonna give you guys your very first test. We've got a little campus quiz for you guys today. Uh, and playing in today's game, we actually have one of our incoming first years, um, and her name is Elena. So we'd like to welcome on Elena. Hey, Elena, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Elena. So can you just quickly tell us um, where you're from and what you're planning to study here this year? Um, I'm from central Queensland, a little town called Biloela, and I'm planning on studying a Bachelor of Arts majoring in chaplaincy. Ooh, very, very nice. nice, very nice. That's a long way to come for uni, but hey, I'm yes. sure it's going to be worth it. We have some fun down here at Avondale. So what the game is, we're going to show you four images um, and we want you to see if you know what they are and where they are on campus. Obviously, it's a little bit hard um, for the first years, but it's just a good way to, um, to, I guess, become familiar with the campus. Um, so we'll give you multiple choice to make it a little bit easier. Okay, um, cool. And you will get a hoodie for coming on today. And if you are watching, please comment your answers and interact and you guys will also have a chance to win something. So let's get it started. So question number one, um, it's a favorite for your afternoon walk or an epic photo. What do we call this place? So we have A swing bridge, B U bridge, 
C, the River Walk Bridge, or D, Flora Bridge? I reckon that's for the swing bridge. It looks like it would swing back and forth. Yeah, all right. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. It is indeed the same. It is, has a lot of movement. I will not lie. It is a very When you step bridge. on it, you can tell why it's called swing bridge. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to our next one. So what's the name of this iconic place on campus? So Agape Cafe, Jacaranda Cafe, Rejuve Cafe or Coffee Dream Cafe? I think I've actually heard of this one. I think is it the Rejuve Cafe, the C? Yeah, yeah you got it right. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool because um, at Rejuve, I don't know if you, well, you may or may not know, but it's run by students and you can just head down there whenever you want and uh Grab some coffee and snacks. Nice great. little rejuvenation place. Look, okay, we have question three. Um, you can find fast action here. What do we call it? So we've got the gym, no man's land, workout central, or the order. Um, maybe D because it's not a gym and the other yep. ones don't sound right. <laughs> All right, let's see what it is. It is indeed the order. This is where a lot of time, there's a lot of free time spent in the order. Even for people who don't love sport, they're always in the order. So recommend just coming to hang out in the order whenever you guys are free. So this weekly hangout is sponsored by the chaplain's office. What's it called? Home away from home, meet up, pulse or chops with chaps? Um, pulse sounds the most cool. So I hope it's pulse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got it right. <laughs> wow, you're just smashing these. Yeah, Pulse is cool. You get to sit outside and eat your lunch, which is nice uh, change from the calf. Yeah, it is very nice. So we have another question, and this one is related to our Friday night program. So this weekly worship is run on Friday nights by students. What is it called? So we have salt, salt and pepper, pepper and salt and light. I think I heard this one too, isn't it? It's salt. It is, oh, yeah. I don't know. Is, yes, it is indeed. <laughs> so you are on a roll. And then finally, um, this event helps you meet as many people as possible in one night. What is it called? We got speed meeting, speed greeting, speed friending, and speed smiling. Is it speed friending? It is speed friending, although I think it's uh, all of them because you kind of do all of them all at the same time. We're just a perfect run. I'm pretty sure we just had a perfect run. No. Look, we weren't expecting that, but hey, well done. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, and thank you for everyone who played in the comments as well. We're going to send you, Elena, an Avondale jumper just to get you started on your Avondale gear. You can never get enough Avondale hoodies, so that's just to start your collection. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. Um, thank you. Now that you guys, uh, now that you and other people watching have gone through a quiz, um, let's get you a little bit more familiar with a campus tour.
Yeah, that was a really nice campus tour and you guys could kind of see where we are and what's around us. Um, so we do have a winner from the quiz from just before. I've got a message. Congratulations, Mason. You've won a hoodie. Thank you for getting involved. Um, and if you want more chances to win prizes, keep commenting, guys, because we're giving away some stuff. But Brady, what's your favourite spot on campus? Oh, look, it would have to be the auto. Um, so many so many good memories of the auto, but hey, that one time we had a shoot off just stands out and we actually have it on video. So it's here for the world to see. So have a look at this. Look, this was a lot of fun and I'm happy to have a rematch to actually try and beat you next time. Well, I guess Eddie the Eagle is just the better baller out of both of us. So We can, we can say that safely now. Hey, look, before we keep going with the show, we just want to remind you that those three commands, you can comment them at any time. So apply course info or campus tour, please. Um, don't be shy, just comment them and it could be the best thing you ever do. It could end up to the best Avondale experience um, so, yeah, please do not be shy to do that. Look, we're gonna, now going to move on to sports. We love sports here at Avondale. We have a lot of sport you can play during the year at Avondale. We're still deciding what our schedule is going to look like this year, um, but we always play basketball, um, volleyball, football, turbo tag, um, all these different ones. But Mia, the star sport player at Avondale, is now actually going to talk you through what she plays and, yeah, just a bit more about sport. <laughs> Yeah, so last year I mostly played basketball and volleyball with some cheering on the sidelines. Um, I'm not a pro, but I, but it's really fun to actually give everything a go because, like, it's such a fun environment with everyone there. So I encourage you to everyone to join sport. It doesn't matter what um, level you're at. Um, but, yeah, but also something to look forward to kind of on the same topic as sport is um, in O Week on the Wednesday, I believe it is, um, the social and sport leaders will organise a massive sports night, which is really, really fun. So I've mentioned O Week, but Brady, can you explain to me what O Week is? I can, I can. So the first week that uh, you guys will come to Avondale this year, we have a little week where it's kind of like the ice breaking week where we do all these little activities. One of them is the sport night uh, and we will... Um, figure a little bit more about one in a second um, but it's kind of the week where you get to know uh, the campus get to know the people um, just a little bit more what to expect so when you go into classes and stuff it's a lot more kind of homely and you can be more um, organized and yeah so one of the other things we do on, uh, in O week is speed friending um, it's a real fun way to uh, and great way to break the ice we just have a few seconds with each people um, as they're passing around the table. So you don't have a lot of time and you do have to use it very wisely. We're actually now going to have um, a round of speed friending just to give you guys a taste of it with an incoming year, uh, incoming first year, so Ruby. So if we could welcome Ruby onto the show. And while we're waiting for that, if you do want to join, you can post your answers in the comment section so we can um, give things to you we love giving things away so you guys have the chance to win a water bottle and a beach ball so Hi guys. Here we welcome Hello. Ruby. how are you today i'm good how are you yeah good good so i'm gonna hand you over to mia and you guys can have a round of speed friend yeah so um here we have um, some of the most commonly used questions at speed friending that, you know, we do on the night. So I'm going to fire some at you and we'll see how it goes. All right, ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Newcastle. What are you studying? Primary teaching. Are you going to be living in dorms? Yeah. 
Make of your first car? A Ford. A favourite colour? Um, gold. What would your superpower be? Um, teleportation. Do you have any siblings? No. Dogs or cats? Cats. Do you have pets? No. And life after Avondale? Um, get married and have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Well, that is time up. Thank you so much. That's the Avondale dream, isn't it? Find find the signature. <laughs> hey, thank you so much uh, for doing that. Absolutely. You will also be getting a free hoodie for joining us to start the start the the hoodie the hoodie closet off. But yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, we're gonna be yeah, awesome. Thank Thanks you. Hey, look, so not all speed friending goes down that easily. There's a lot of different types of speed friends out here, so check this out. There's a bit of a funny video for you. Um, yeah, so speed friending can be a lot of fun. Um, so make sure you do come down there that, that night as well. So we also do um, have another video just to um, look a little bit more about O-Week now that we've looked at those two things. So yeah, just have a look at this. So as you guys can see from that, it's just a, quite a chill week just to get to know your surroundings. Um, it's a lot of fun. So I definitely recommend you all get behind O-Week. Hey, so Finley, I'm pretty sure you have won a water ball and a beach ball for your participation. So thank you so much um, for commenting. We'll get uh, in contact with you and make sure you get your beloved beach ball and water bottle. Hey, another way you can get to know a little bit more about campus life is by spending some time with Timmy. How's it going everyone? So you know what time it is, time with Timmy. And today we're gonna go around the school and see how many people know these famous quotes. Come on. I don't got friends, I got family. Yes. yes. And where's that from? I don't know. Fast and Furious. Oh. You can handle the True. 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 <laughs> I will board my boat and return the heart to what's Nineveh. I don't know. You will board my boat and return the heart to... Tefiti? Yes, Tefiti. What movie is it from? Moana? Yeah. So the quote is, Say hello to my little... Baby. <laughs> Say hello to my little... Friend? Sorry? Friend? Yes. If you like it, then you should have put a... A ring on it. Hi! What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Mm. Oh, Let's go. Oh. <laughs> and your quote is run away and never stop running. Look back. <laughs> run, run, and never <laughs> run away and never. Return. Yes. Never return. Hey, thanks so much, Timmy, for your time. Hey, Brady, how many of those did you know? Look, 
I would not have known a whole lot, so I'm definitely glad I was not one of the people getting asked. Fair enough. Well, another part of um, student life you want to be a part of is dorms, literally. Um, if you have any questions about dorm life, drop them in the comment section and we'll try and answer them during this segment. But also, if you want any more information about courses, campus tours or applying, also drop that in the comment and um, someone will be there to help you along the way. So joining us today are the head RAs or resident assistants, Gerardo and Ellie. So they'll be coming on and they're going to have a showdown about dorm life. So again, drop your questions um, and answers in the comments if you know. Um, and let's get started real quick. So um, can you guys explain to us what is an RA or what's your role? Shot Gerardo? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess our roles are kind of the leaders in dorms. Um, we're there for any help. Uh, we have different RAs for different situations. So we have a, a social RA, we have an academic, a well-being, and a spiritual RA. And they're just there to help you guys get through your, your time here at Avondale and help with any questions and queries you guys have. Awesome. Nice. Hey, look, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to fire some questions at you. We'll fire some at you, Gerardo, and some at you, Ellie. And um, it's about the opposing genders dorm. So <laughs> there's a fair chance you don't know uh, anything, if much at all. So we're going to start off with uh, Gerardo. We're going to fire some questions at you. So question number one, how many levels are there in Ella Boyd? So we've got Ooh. three, four, five, and two. Uh, pretty sure there's five. Let's have a look at that. Yes, indeed, there is five. Well um, done. The next one is, what floor of Ella is generally known for being night owls or, like, all levels are loud, but, you know, these girls can be loud? So it's three, mm. four, five, or one. Uh, assuming that all the first years are the loudest, I would say level one. Let's have a look. Yep, it's. I think it's all those sleepless nights. Uh, <laughs> probably make everything loud. All right. So we have, um, there is a group from church that organizes hangouts, worships, and sometimes massages for the girls of Ella. Um, what is this called? So we've got She Ministries, Hallelujah Ministries, Woman of Valor, or Care for You. Uh, I really like the name Woman of Valor, but I'm pretty sure it's the She Ministries. All righty, let's take a quick... Yes, indeed, it is She Ministries. Oh, good job, Gerardo. Gerardo <laughs> made it through. <laughs> um, so now we're on to Ellie. We've got a couple of questions for you. So which Hi. level of Watson Hall, which is the male residence, has its... Oh, each each of the levels has its own, um, its own name. Which one is not one of those? Babylon, Jews, Romans, or Macedonians? Um... Uh, Macedonians? We'll have a look. Oh, yep. Yeah. You got that one. Hey, is there another level? Names? Brady or um, Gerardo? Or is there only three levels? There's I've got no three clue. Three oh. so, yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure those are the only three that I know of. I, yeah. they're, they're loud and proud. When, when, they're the, when they're from the Jews, you know they're from the Jews. <laughs> um. So the next question is, there's a security guard at the bottom of Watson Hall who uh, is pretty much one of the boys, basically. He's always hanging around dorms, um, and we just want to know what his name is. So we've got Alex, Ronan, Chewy, or Sammy? It's Chewy. We all love Chewy. We all do love Chewy. Yeah, that is correct. You've done it. And I'll give you a bonus point if you can tell me what his dog's name is. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's so right. I, don't, I didn't even know to today. We looked it up. Just we know one of them. We know one of them. Um, we'll find out next year, and you guys can find out next year too. Yeah, that, that's on. That's on. Um, and then for Ellie, what's the biggest transition students have living in dorms? We've got doing laundry, waking up on their own, getting to class, or remembering to eat. Look, I'm gonna say doing laundry. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like it could be all of them, to be honest. Yeah, I think it is. Aside from the not eating part, I feel like people go pretty ham at the calf. <laughs> that is very true. Hey, just before 
um, you jump off. Gerardo, this one, I'm just going to ask you a question. What's the main difference you find between living at dorms and living at home? I mean, you just, you have the community when you're living in dorms. You got all the boys right next to you, and I'm sure it's the same as in Ella. And just having that community where all these people are so spiritually focused and they all have that same intention and same place in life as you, it just gives you a great feeling when you're in the dorms. So, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. And then, um, Ellie, what's included in the Ella rooms? Ella room. So um, the girls, we're pretty lucky. We get a sink, which is, I think, a bit different from the boys. Um, and we've got yeah, your bed, you've got a wardrobe and a desk. Um, and lots of the rooms are actually newly renovated. So um, many of them have ceiling fans, which are pretty good on a nice summer's day. So, yeah. Yes, can definitely agree with that one. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Gerardo and Ellie, for coming on and telling us a little bit about dorms and what to expect this year. Um, so now we'll have a look at Katie's video showing us what we can get up to throughout the semesters. Yeah, look, as you can see, we have some fun at Avondale. So, hey, I recommend you guys come and be here for the fun that we have next year. Hey, so we're now going to do another round of speed training, but this one isn't just with a first year. This is with an absolute vet of Avondale. This is Trey going into his third year. So welcome, Trey. So oh, can you just tell you. us uh, where you are from and what you are studying? Uh, so I'm from New Zealand and I'm, I'm studying business. Nice, very nice. Hey, so we're just gonna fire some questions at you and um, we'll see what you have to say. So question number one is favorite way to spend free time? Uh, favorite way would probably be getting on the basketball court and shooting around and playing ball. That's the way. If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, probably pasta. That's the one. Uh, last thing you read? Uh, the Bible. Oh, extrovert and introvert. Uh, probably introvert. Nice. Would you rather go skiing or go to the beach? Uh, I'd probably rather go skiing. And what is your favorite meal time, breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Uh, definitely breakfast. Nice. And what phone app do you use the most? Uh, shoot, probably uh, the gram. <laughs> nice, nice. That's all we've got time for. You, you flung through them, so thank you so much. There's a nice little section to get to know one of our one of our third years. So thanks so much for coming on. Uh, and just to say thank you, you as well will also be getting a hoodie. Um, so, yeah. We're going to now have a look at a little spiritual video uh, just to show you what Avondale is about. So this is where Avondale differs from other unis. Service and spirituality is a significant part of Avondale and its mission. Um, here it's all about having fun but also, you know, having an opportunity to give back to the community. 
Um, at Avondale, there are heaps of opportunities to give back, and we're going to see one really cool way with Janae and Blake. Hey everyone, my name's Blake May. Hi, I'm Janae Lewis. So what do we do, Blake? So we actually are co-leaders of a life group down here at Avondale. At the moment, we've got 10 people a part of our life group. Uh, and we're teaching them sign language, Auslan sign language. The reason that we wanted to do this life group is because we know that the deaf community is one of the most unreached communities. We're passionate about it. Um, and we wanted to be able to offer a skill development and community to the people that might not have had the opportunity to learn Auslan before. Something that we really wanted to make sure was possible was that we would bring God into it uh, in some way. We're not a Bible study life group, but we do pray before we start and we make sure that we have a community where people can reach out if they need help. So that's a little bit about our life group and we hope that this has inspired you in some way to start your own life group and in an area that you're passionate about. And yeah. Yeah, thanks for listening and have a good day. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us, Janaya and Blake. That's a really cool thing that you guys are doing. I've always wanted to learn Auslan. Um, but yeah, um, well, I'll just ask you guys a quick question. So what got you interested in Auslan? Janaya, Blake? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've been interested in it since I was a really a little kid. My, my dad knew a little bit, so mm -hmm. as a kid we, we learnt you know, the alphabet and some basic conversational things, but um, I met uh, some people in the deaf community in the Seventh day Adventist church, and I was like, oh, I really, I really love this language. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I, I feel like I connect with it. So I started learning self taught and getting to the point where I can do basic interpretation, and I really loved it. I've been learning for about uh, two and a half years now, I think. Awesome, that's so cool. And Blake, really quickly, what what um what got you interested in Auslan? Uh, COVID <laughs> lockdown in twenty twenty. I got bored and wanted to learn a new skill and um, started learning some Auslan. Then I found out Janaeus was um, learning herself, so we kind of like got together and we we're like um, helping each other learn. So oh, I've been that's... I've been doing it for about a year. That's so cool. And um. Why did you guys decide to, you know, join a sign language group and a life group together? Um, we we decided to run a life group called Life Signs at College Church because College Church has all of these amazing life groups, whether it's, you know, learning how to cook Indian food to having a Bible study with a group of women or men your own age. Um, we were like, well, what's a way that we can share this um, that this thing that we're learning and that we really are passionate about with a bunch of other college students and just be able to chat with them, grow, and that we can reach the deaf community more um, as a church. So very we nice. started the life group. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Um, hey, just one last quick question for, I'm going to aim this one at you, Blake. Um, how has this helped your spirituality? I guess the life groups around here, they're, mostly about um sort of that spiritual aspect and i know in your video that you guys said that it's not necessarily it's a spiritual one but it can um affect um the people that come in in that way i guess um indirectly but yeah how has this helped your personal spirituality it's been great actually uh getting to meet people uh get become closer to uh friends getting to know them um teaching them and also every now and again them teaching me and it's a good experience where you get to just connect and create a, this group of people that you feel comfortable around and then um another aspect that was a big impact for me was seeing how easy it is for people just to come along and learn a little bit of auslan and then they can then eventually take that into their own lives and potentially do something in the deaf community with it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Hey, real quickly before um, we move on, can you guys just teach us one real quick sign? Just anything you guys like. Anything? We had two. Um, like, yeah. You want to say how? Hello, how are you? So you for hello, pretty straightforward. You just wave, yeah. and then for how are you, you want to put your well both hands or one hand. Um, on your chest and you 
slide off to a thumbs up. It's like showing your body. Is it good? How are you? Perfect. So hello. How are you? Perfect. Pretty straightforward. And you can actually. reply with, yeah, you can reply with the same thing. I'm well, my body is good. And you can say nice where you get uh, two fingers like this with your dominant hand, with your thumb up, you put it on your chin and then you go out to a thumbs up. Nice. Nice. Uh, and then you put two people like this, meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's all pretty straightforward. I like it. I, I like it. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for that. Um, we're now going to have a quick look at a quick student life video about Avondale. Thanks. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of smiles to go around Avondale. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some more smiles coming out of, sorry if I mispronounce your name, Jamaica. Um, you have won a water bottle and a beach ball. So thank you so much for your participation. Um, hey, and look, as we wrap up, I just want to encourage you if you haven't yet, but you want a campus tour or some more info or help applying, please just comment um, comment below. But if you don't want to comment below, you also can um, message us on our socials. Um, and while you're messaging us, just follow us so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. Um, and yeah, we're very excited for a very good year at Avondale. So hey, just before um, we finish up, I'd just like to say a quick word of prayer over everyone here. So if you could bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you so much um, for your university and the work that it is doing. Um, I pray for the people considering to come here this year. Um, just impress on their hearts uh, what you would have them do. And, yeah, keep everyone safe in, in these times right now. And, yeah, I pray for a really good year at Avondale. And just now pray. Amen. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we've hope you didn't, if, we've hope you've enjoyed the show um, and you've learned a little bit more about Avondale. And we both hope to see you all this year and have a great evening. Oh, 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 oh,